Okay, so some of you might know that I am obsessed with neuroscience. Like becoming a coach and understanding how we function as humans and how we have things like emotional intelligence and confirmation bias and self-fulfilling prophecy, it all boils down to the brain. And when I when I was studying um, my coaching, there was this one specific thing that we learned and that kind of paved the way for my obsession with the brain. So basically, um, it's been proven that when you are talking to someone and you feel safe and you feel heard and you don't feel judged, parts of your brain that trigger the alert for danger quieten down. And once that happens, you can have clear thinking. So that for me was like a revelation. Now I am diving deeper because, oh my gosh, there's so much to learn about the brain. And I'm doing a neurofundamentals course at the moment that's specifically using applied neuroscience to movement. And in this lecture, the the um, oh, professor or teacher, he's, he explains, you know, neuroplasticity. So if you've never heard of neuroplasticity, it's basically a concept that the brain is plastic. It molds and adapts and it's flexible and it changes and it grows. And 20 to 30 years ago, the, they believed that, you know, the brain only develops till the age of like, I don't know, 24 to 35 or something like that. And then it stops developing. You know, we had those sayings like you can't teach an old dog new tricks. It's a lot of shit. They have disproven that. Science has caught up. Science has managed to start testing things and experimenting and discovering new things about our brain. Very cool, you know, using imagery, imaging and stuff like that. So the thing about neuroplasticity is that it's, a neut it's neutral, okay? It's not good or bad. It just is. It exists. So neuroplasticity means that our brain learns how to be better at thing at the things that we're doing so maybe you've even heard that saying like the thing that you focus you know you, wherever you put all your attention on that thing grows okay so there's a concept called maladapt maladaptive neuroplasticity which means that if you're doing something that you don't actually want to be good at like eating junk food or lying around watching tv or complaining or something, whatever, whatever it is that you're unhappy about that you do all the time. The fact that you're doing all the time just reiterates it in the brain. So the brain goes, oh, we're doing this all the time. So therefore we must do it all the time because that's something that we want to do all the time. So just like how neuroplasticity can help us to grow and become better at things and to strengthen our self-esteem or to change or whatever we want to do in a positive sense, there's also the other side of the fact that neuroplasticity exists mean that it, that it works for the good and the bad, essentially. So if you're stuck in this pattern of doing the same things over and over and over again that you don't actually want to do, but you can't seem to change it, probably because of neuroplasticity. Your brain is learning that these are the things that you do every day or quite, you know frequently Therefore, it makes a shortcut so that you can just do it without using too much brain power. So you can disrupt that because the brain can learn to change your behavior. It's so amazing. Um, and this is stuff that I do with my clients in my coaching sessions. So if it's something that you're interested in, please contact me. If you have any questions about it, please let me know. This stuff is so amazing. We can use our brains... How funny is that, hey? We can use our brains. Think about I just actually think about when I was at school and they would say things like, you know, put on your thinking caps and like switch on your brain. Like you literally can do that. So they weren't far off. All right. I hope that's inspired you to know that you can change. And if you are in this like loop of things that you don't want to be doing, you probably, you've probably just trained your brain to short circuit yourself to do those things so you can change it. Yay. Okay. Have a beautiful day.